Today, pushing, shoving, and plenty of yelling as both sides confronted each other after a week of protests at colleges across the country. Yeah, KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is live on the Westwood campus right now with the very latest developments. Lauren. Well, Leslie and Jasmine, right now things are pretty quiet. Take a look behind me. I want to show you this is the student encampment that's been up since Wednesday. You can see the boards are up and the signs. But it was earlier when things got heated when those metal barriers got crossed during a counter protest. Thousands of demonstrators converged on the UCLA campus for a fourth day Sunday. We're here to um, support Palestine. Uh, we think what's going on is uh, injustice. For years, for years we have been saying. But just before 11, fights broke out between protesters supporting Israel and pro Palestinian demonstrators in Dixon Plaza. Pro Israel supporters came to campus for a rally to show support for Jewish students. We arranged this in advance. It was all permitted. We had flyers. Barriers meant to keep both sides separated were breached. Passion erupting on both sides as they came face to face. Here in Los Angeles, those are terrorists. Here in LA, can you believe this? Demonstrators were confronting one another. I just want the other side to actually look into our arguments. I feel like the other side isn't really listening to anything. They just call everyone Hamas supporters and they just call everyone like terrorists. Things intensified even more as demonstrators and supporters started to push, shove and scream at one another. And here we have a marauding band uh, uh, with pushing, shoving thugs, um, uh, thuggery, uh, uh, profanity uh, that, is, that is now rendering this entire space unsafe. Police stood by in riot gear. University officials say they won't step in unless they feel students are in danger. The chancellor of UCLA issued a statement on the violence, saying in part, UCLA has a long history of being a place of peaceful protest, and we are heartbroken about the violence that broke out. As the protests continue, demonstrators on both sides have varying views on what a resolution would look like. Well, Israel needs to stop what it's doing with, uh, with the current operations. Uh, the current operations are pretty blatantly uh, war crimes, a genocide. Um, the U.S. needs to stop funding Israel. The forces of darkness have to be destroyed. The Arabs are as much of a victim as are the Jews and Israelis from the forces of darkness. Who are the forces of darkness? Cults of death like Hezbollah and Hamas and Al-Qaeda and Daesh, ISIS. The city councilwoman of this district, Katie Yaroslavsky, says she and her team are watching closely to ensure the safety of everyone on campus. And so far, no arrests have been made. Reporting live in Westwood, Lauren Posen, KCAL News. All right, Lauren, thank you so much uh, for that live report. Well, tonight we have pro-Palestinian protests that are continuing as well at USC. Take a look, SkyCal live 